to all and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to look how to connect on a function editor level, or position our sun to, for example, this primitive lamp. So you can see when sun is down, we'll make light up automatically going. And as if sun rising, it will turn it off, change the luminosity in an object based on the sun position. So let's give you a little bit example how you can create it function dreaming uh, interaction inside the view so you can create more realistic scenery. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our lamp that we're going to use. So for this, we'll just go create a um, sphere. And again, this is just the example so we can see how we can link together our functions and positioning. So a little bit going more on advanced subject. So next, let's go create a pedestal for the lamp. We'll just put it right here, stretch up. We don't need to do anything fancy, just something that represent kind of lamp. Okay, let's take our camera, move it out. And next, what I want to do is change some materials. So for our sphere, which will be glowing, we're going to replace this material with probably some basic. We'll go basic uh, flat white for this. Okay, and then next we need to change some options to this. So what I'm going to do is take diffuse ambient and we'll increase luminosity up. So you can see how it highlight kind of glowing at this moment. Okay, if we're going to take our sun down, let's go bring all the way below horizon. You can see right here, we have our orb kind of glowing. Of course, we want to change the remove after exposure from this. But overall, here we have our subject, which object, which is kind of glowing around. What we want to do is take our sun, and as sun is rise up, I want to turn off the light. So it will kind of linking together. For this, we need to work with positioning and um, function editor. We need link position and our sun. So let's go right here as sun is selected. We go click on the edit object graph and we'll go see what we have. Okay, you'll notice right here we have output as a positioning, but I want to take it just up position so it will be Z again. In the sum, Z will be back Y up in a view in current situation. It is a Z, it is up. And I want to work with Z is increasing. I want to decrease and turn it off lighting. So let's go right here, our position. We'll go to um, click on the middle, go to the math. We'll go to vector operation and we're going to take the compressor. So if we look right here in the compressor, notice we have X, Y and Z. So we take current position and we connect to the input. Next, I want to create custom output. So we'll go click create output, custom dependency. And we'll take a Z and connect to our custom dependency. So on this point, I'll just take a Z value and already can extract this. Let's go ahead, click OK. OK, our next is going inside the sphere and we're going to edit material. And right here in material, I want to go in effect and we have it luminosity. We're going and click drive with a function. So notice right here we have it our constant number. So we want to modify. As we look on constant number, it's number one. So if we put to zero, it will turn it off. So we can put even minus one and you can see it's all the way. So our value going from minus one to one zero is will give it like middle ground. This is kind of nice to remember when we start mapping. So now what I want to do is input and as an input I want external dependency and we'll select external dependency will go to the our sunlight and select custom dependency. So next I want to actually map it to this. Okay so to connect our external dependency we need to go go in the filters 
and we'll go to create a map. So our map is which allowed us to control some values and output values. I'm going to connect from this to the map. And in a map, one thing I want to do, I want actually low values should be minus one. However, because I want opposite when sun up and down, I want to go from one to minus one. So it will turn on and off. And of course, we can go ahead and enable clip out of range. We'll take our luminosity and we'll connect to our object. Let's go delete it. We'll go click OK. And right now you can see our sunlight is below horizon and lights us up. And if we bring up, our object is turning off. So of course, as we're getting closer to horizon, right there you can watch it is kind of not on. So it's still be darker and as soon when we're going below our lights is turning on so this way we can kind of after made it um play with vari uh, variety or mapping properly we actually could easy just set horizon on a zero and you can see we still have a sunset and our light start lighting up so we can map a little bit more shift it and make light come up brighter as sun going down but right here you can preview so sun not yet down and as we're going lower it start turning on and as we're going below horizon it's lights turning all the way on okay so let's, as example final render to screen select other ones let's go render and you can see right here our object as a test is glowing okay we'll go take our sunlight bring just a little bit on the horizon so we still have a little bit lighting going like on the back so we're going to go render this one and right here you can see sun rise and lights just barely barely lighting up and now we're going up we can preview and we can see our orb not lighting so thank you for watching this tutorial and this is was example how you can use it function dreaming for example position of the sun to modify some materials inside the view.